Hi, everyone. It is Simple Politics with Kim Whaley. First day in office, President Biden signed a bunch of executive orders. What is that? When you hear the word order, it sounds like something from a court. Uh, it's actually just a memo to his team, which is there are thousands of them within the executive branch. Any federal agency that dots Washington, D.C. is within the chain of command to President Biden. And so he's telling them to do things like, well, review the, the process for getting regulations through. Um, that's a little bit cumbersome. He's, he's telling them to fortify DACA, for example. Now, DACA is an example of traditional executive power. Think police officer or prosecutor. The president can decide if you're if a child was born in the United States or brought to the United States uh, illegally. I'm just not going to take action to deport that child. That's pure executive order uh, power. When the president does something that looks and sounds more like a law that's traditionally within the power of the legislative branch or Congress, that's where executive orders get trickier. But traditionally, presidents have done it for a very long time. Uh, you know. Abraham Lincoln freed the slave, uh, the enslaved population with the Emancipation Proclamation. That was an executive order. Uh, he's lifted the travel ban. He's rejoined the WHO. He's named a COVID czar. Really, really good idea. He stopped border wall funding. Um, he has d deferred student loans longer. He has said, I'm not going to, uh, to exclude citizens from the census. Uh, but you remember, Donald Trump pulled back on on the staffing to actually do the counting. So the numbers could be low, even if the uh, non-citizens are included. I'm not sure Biden can do anything about that. And there's a lot of stuff COVID related. There are some statutes that give the president's pow the extra power um, in, a, in a crisis. He's talking about mask mandates, et cetera. That, in terms of how that's implemented, there might be some tricky issues regarding state law, regarding uh, sort of worker safety law and the relationship between Congress and what the president can do. Uh, but this is a good start, and I think he's sending a really strong message about what his, not only his policy agenda is, but the kind of president he's going to be. He has a very extensive uh, sort of pledge now that every federal employee needs to take to basically make sure they do their jobs based on facts and law and that there's not any sort of personal gain by virtue of working in in the federal government and given the sort of corruption in our face that we saw with four years with Donald Trump and the breakdown of the guardrails, I think that's pretty important. So this is Simple Politics with Kim Whaley. Thanks for listening.